something completely different. Um, I suppose you've all heard that Obama has come out in favor of oxygen. <laughs> He's leaving the Republicans no option but to suffocate. They told me to open with a joke. Uh, a great man once said, okay, it was me, once said, <laughs> That you can tell something as a poem, even if you don't understand a single word in the language. We're going to test that theory tonight. You can tell from the sounds and the rhythm. This is uh, a poem about a, a, a place just like this. It's actually a, a, a church basement in uh, 1918, July 16th. The uh, communists rushed into this room and killed the Romanovs, men, women, and children. And they buried their bodies in uh, a mine shaft and they threw lime down on top of it for, so the bodies would decompose, but that wasn't enough. They took the bodies and they put it in a marsh. Now half of this is in Russian, don't let that freak you out. The only Russian you need to know is the word bog, is the Russian word for God. Now imagine being in that room. That room doesn't even exist anymore. They tore it down in 1930 because they didn't want a bunch of Tsarist tourists. Say that three times fast. Tsarist tourists, okay? <laughs> they tore it down, but it's a lot like this. It's exactly like this. Imagine being in that room, in this room. Vetoi komnatya molotov podnyal. Vetoi komnatya malasenki nakavalni shtali. Vettoi komnatya, shtifte i blifa, vettoi komnatya, puli i tela, vettoi komnatya, mi polo poloto ili izvjetski. In this room, the hammer rose. In this room, the tiny anvils waited. In this room, a bayonet and bodice. In this room, a bullet and body. In this room, there was no bog or lime. Thank you. Oh, yeah.